Okay, quickly over now. We're going to get uh, Shane Harvey and Ernesto Dominguez. What? Power1pocket.com? I recognize you. I don't Scam, remember. Sir. Oh, hi, Lisa. How are you? My God. How are you doing? You all right? Yeah, sorry about the answer. Hi, Lee. How are you? Are you recording any of these? Yes. All of them? We're recording all of it. Did the one that was played on here last <laughs> get recorded? Who was it? Me. Versus? Uh, no. Brent Boone. Oh, no. So it was actually, a 15 minute yeah, match. Actually, I didn't miss a ball. Uh, I actually, I didn't miss one shot. Well, you're a strong player, Ben. I'm a lucky player. I just like to thank God, you know. You'd like to thank <laughs> you wow. like to thank God and and. Uh, I think I play good. I yeah. think I play real good. <laughs> uh, I hope somebody yeah, from Phoenix caught that. Yeah. I think we play pretty good, you know. <laughs> Team effort, just nine teams. You guys want to commentate together <laughs> so I can take a break? I'm serious. <laughs> yeah, go take a break. Yeah, if you want, to, yeah, there we go. That's the spirit. All right, I, but it has to be, unless you know how to switch cameras, it's one, two, three, right? Unless you know how to do it, you can just commentate this match right here, which is Oscar and uh, Shane. Ernesto. Ernesto and Shane. That's it, Oscar and Ernesto. Huh? It's Ernesto and Shane. Yeah, right? That's never going to happen. <laughs> just make sure you guys talk into the mics. Of course. Is this nice? Can they see this one? This is your Barry White voice. No, this is program right here. The Barry they, White. Nice. They can only see this. Okay. This is a preview, right? So if you go to, there's, okay. There's camera one. Two and three. That's all you got. Oh, okay. And there's Which one again. There's right. one again. That's live. And this shows the preview. Yeah. And here is the. Just close that real quick. That's the chat room. Oh, sweet. So you can toggle. I would like to thank my Sharma. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. My Sharma. Hey, let's try not to mess this up, huh? So there you go. No scoreboard. Make sure you guys keep it aware. Hey, thank you. Hey, sure. You, I'm telling you, very white, white voice. voice. That's kind of hard for me to have. Thanks, white Jeff. Voice. Make sure you introduce yourself. What's your name? Ben. 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 Well, my name's Jeff Schilder, and I'm here with Ben Sullivan. We're uh, watching Ernesto play Shane on table one. Good match so far. Looks like it's 4 2 Ernesto right now, and he's going for the run out. Go up 5 to 2. Good so, shot. so, Ben, how long have you been playing? 14 years. How long did you did you say? For, about fourteen years. Fourteen years, right on. Yeah, off where, and do on. You, where are you from? Phoenix. Phoenix, nice. I have a friend that lives out in Phoenix. Who's that? Uh, Chris Lulek. It's oh, good, I know Chris. Yeah, good friend yeah, of mine. Chris, Chris actually beat me in the Mez Tour stop at Bull Shooters. Very nice. On the loser side, day two, um, back in January, I want to say. Yeah, he's a pretty good shot. Yeah, he's great. That's I grew up with them playing. First time I've seen him play. He plays great. Looks like uh, Ernesto just went up 5-2. We got a score update. We have uh, Dick Rice is playing. Looks like he's playing Grant, and it looks like Dick Rice is up 5-3. to three. We also have that match just started on table table four. Johnny Kang is, pl uh, is playing Phil Tatum. Looks look like. That, look at that break. Yeah, good break. Looks like Johnny just came out uh, out of the gates, one nothing. I 
And then over on table three, it looks like it's Don McClellan against uh, Jason Klatt. Another good matchup. Ooh, yeah, that's going to be a real good. Looks like it's one to one in that match. Yeah, it should be going on in the background right now. Just telling them that that match is going on in the background. Looks like Dick Rice just finished off uh, finished off Grant, one six to three. The guys in Phoenix will be happy to see that. Nice. Yeah, Dick Rice is from Phoenix. Everybody knows him in town as Doc. Nice. He made his annual trip up here. I think he's been here about 15 times for this event. No joke. Very nice. I'll tell you the guy that's pretty uh, surprising so far in this tournament is that uh, Shane Harvey. You know what I mean? He, not saying he doesn't play bad. Obviously, he plays pretty good, you know? Didn't he beat Walter Glass earlier? Yeah, he knocked off Walter Glass earlier, and then he ended up, uh, I mean, he's, he's down 5-2 to Ernesto, but, you know, sometimes when you play these champions, man, it's hard to get out, yeah. out of the gate. <laughs> I love coming to this tournament, man. It's a great tournament. Last year was the first year I came, and well, I swore that I would never miss another year. Nah, it's so I, much fun. Yeah, I missed last year. And you know, being up in Tahoe, you know, it's anybody watching I, who hasn't been here, I highly encourage it. It's, yeah, it was kind of sucked uh, watching it on TV on the yeah. live streaming. You know, what I mean, when I wish I could be there. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely happy to be here now. That's for sure. It's a lot of fun, and it's a cool format with the rack and the nine on the spot rather than the one ball. Absolutely. Pushing that whole rack forward and then limiting where the breaker is allowed to break from. It's really... Definitely makes it a little more difficult to break. Yeah, yep. it makes it tough. I've got a pretty pretty big break, and it's it's down at about 40% for this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Tables are quick. And Talk about big breaks. I got yeah. one too, man, and I can't unleash the beast nope. here, man. Not in this one. You won't make nothing. You'll dry up every time. If I get up 5-0 on somebody <laughs> on the ta on the ta on the stream table, maybe I'll I'll tattoo one and you're just gonna, you're gonna let her fly. Just you're gonna give a 31 mile an hour break yep. out there. All right. <laughs> if there's anybody out there that knows me, uh, just want to say hi to everyone. Uh, hope you're enjoying what you're watching. Great matches. I don't want to say hi to anybody. I don't like anybody out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. When's your next match, Ben? Do you play? I am scheduled to play at, I believe, 8.30. Nice. Who are you playing against? Jovan Bustamante. Ooh, tough match. Very tough match. I saw him play for the first time last weekend or weekend prior uh -huh. in Phoenix. And he did, he cashed. I don't know how well he did, but I know he cashed in the Diamond Pool Tour stop. I think Brett Huth took him out 7-2 to two on the Big Diamond. But I heard that the kid... Raised, uh, raised some hell at the bar table championships this year. And well, I hope you... Like, uh, I think he went for 3,100 in the Calcutta. Nice. So, well, I hope you go out there and smash him. I hope I do, too. I know. I'm playing at... I got to play at 645. I'm right after this Johnny King and uh, Phil Tatum match, so... Oh, nice. Who are you playing, do you know? I'm playing uh, Jonathan Ballon. Hmm. I think the guy's from... I believe he's from California. Somewhere yeah. in California. Yeah, there's a few that made the trip out from California. I know, uh, I think about seven or eight of us made the trip from Phoenix to yeah. play, and I think there's about another half dozen that came up just to, to watch and to uh, support their liquor problems. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Either that or the people that are here to cheer for the locals, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Being one helps because, you know, I, gotta, I come with the big fan club, so yeah. it's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's nice that a few people made the trip up to, to support. It yeah. makes it fun. It's nice to see my friends and family, considering I'm, you know, haven't seen anybody in a few years. So yeah, very cool. It's very nice. Looks like Ernesto's about to take it down. Yep. Shane gave it a whirl, but Ernesto was just a little too much. Six to two. Great guy from California. Played many matches with him. That's it. Right, Six five Ernesto. Jump over to Sean Lane and Jason Osborne. This is a Doc Hill champion, Jason, yes, it huh? it is. Jason won the tournament here last weekend. You're already a natural at this. Yeah, he's cl clicking the videos. He's got this down. 
Yeah, Jason. Uh, Jason won last week. I, uh, I watched a little bit on live streaming, man. He he played pretty solid. I can tell you that right now. He's been playing pretty good. I had never seen him play until his first match today, mm -hmm. and I was very very impressed. And then I heard he was a B player, and I kind of rolled my still, eyes and made me wonder how the alphabet system works out here. No, you plays, weren't. You were still impressed. He, Don't give me he that. He plays very, very well. No, I was thinking he should be an A. He plays great. Yeah. Yeah, he plays really sporty. I remember when he first started playing, man. You know, he wasn't he wasn't the greatest shooter, but, man, he up and comer really fast, man. He plays pretty good now. He is dating nope. Stacy Alsup, who happens to be a good friend of mine. I'm actually staying at their place while I'm out here right now. Absolutely. So thank you to them. I know they're not hearing this right now because one's playing and the other one's sweating it, but Stacy will be up here shortly, um, I believe on the mainstream TV, the TV table, playing Shane Van Boning. Yeah, that's going uh, to be interesting. You know, it's going to show if St Stacy has the nerves or not. You know what I mean? That's, that's the only problem with going up against these guys. You know, if you got a mental block, man, it'll get you. It'll bite you right in the butt. Yep, that's for, for sure. sure. That was the one thing that was really nice about when I played, you know, back in the days, man. Anytime the BCA rolled into town, uh, I was always at the Q Club. I was pros would always come in there, man, and I was always the first one to step up and try to play. Nice. I wanted to get that mental thing out of my head, you know. So it's tough to find uh, people in town and in Phoenix, anyhow, that that are looking to step up and play somebody a little out of their realm. Seems like everybody's kind of. Too worried about the ratings and and what they hear about somebody or or, or a specific number after their name rather than kind of just playing their game. Totally, absolutely, but I, I guess, agree. I guess I can kind of understand to a point if you don't have the bankroll to do it or if you don't have the seasoning and you're not comfortable with it. It is what it is. I will tell you something right now, man. We got probably the match of the day. Looks like it's Ishmael Paez against Sal Butera. Boy, is this going to be a good one. I don't even know. Who would you take in this, man, if you had to take a shot, if you had to pick? If I had to pick, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't bet a lot, but I'd put it on Sal. I'd, I've seen him I'd play more than, than Paez, and I saw Paez's first match, and I don't know if it's nerves or what, but he missed a few balls that I didn't expect him to miss, but I guess okay. we all do that. But I wouldn't want to bet against either one of them, but if I was forced no. to. It was a gun to my head. You got to bet on somebody. I'd throw well, a friendly note on. Well, I've seen I've Sal. seen them both. I've seen them both play a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, me my me myself personally, I got to go with the veteran. So, Ishmael is uh, when he's in a group, man. It's he's he's pretty awesome. I mean, they're both they're both solid. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's definitely not fun playing either one of them, but, you know, if you're playing your game, I, I think anybody could beat anybody, you know I, I mean? haven't so. had the, the pleasure of playing either one of them. Yeah. Last time I played Ishmael was uh, a couple years ago. I was running out the set, and I ended up dry breaking. I was up 5-1, came back, he beat me 6-5. Oh, man. Yeah, it was pretty rough. That's brutal. To get into the Calcutta, too, to Ooh. get into the money. Ouch. But, you know, it is what it is, you know what I mean? But... This is gonna be a good one. So, over on that one there. It's it's this one here. Are you on that one? Mm -hmm. right I was just reading the people. That's, that's, uh, this right. is what they're seeing at home. Sal, Sal and Ishmael. All right. Looks like Sal is about to break. Let's see what happens. Sounded solid. Well. Yeah, couple balls on the break. Got a shot on the one. Looks pretty good so far. <clears throat> I think I'm banking this. Uh, wow. Two rails. Nice two railer that he called from back here. <laughs> I had it in my hand and now it's out of my truck again. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Well, it looks like we're not really paying attention, considering he's just practicing. <laughs> ben, I think it's time to go get more drinks. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Let's pretend like that didn't happen. Mm. We're practicing our commentating. Just trying to 
get a feel for the stroke. Let's see who else is playing that we can go to. Let's jump. Let's jump over let's to. Let's jump over uh, to Phil Tatum and Johnny Kang. See how that match is going on. Looks like it's uh, three nut and Johnny right now. Right behind that, Jason Klatt is up three to one on. Looks like Dan McClellan. And it looks like uh, Sean Sean Lane and Jason Osborne are over on table two. It looks like Jason's jumped out the gun, one nothing. Shane's at the table. Looks like he's got a run out. Or I take that back, Sean, not Shane. Uh-oh. Platt just put himself in jail. Mm. Oh, my. Two this will be an it. Almost makes it. This will be an interesting shot. Let's see what Johnny's going to do here. Let's see if he, uh, oh, he likes, he's electing Ooh. to play the 2-9. This be a good shot. It's tough. But I think he's playing the two-way shot. I yeah. think he's going to play the cue ball two, behind the three. He's going to, yep, he's going to put the cue ball behind the three. That's exactly what or he's going to do. At least give it some distance. Yep. Two-way shot. And... Can't see didn't quite get there, but hell of an effort. Tell you another surprise is this Don McClellan. He's playing pretty. He's playing pretty sporty right now. His first match I watched him play, he played pretty well. Who did against he play? Walter. Do you remember Walter? Oh no. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Was it? I don't know. Did he? I'm sorry about that. That was uh, Don McClellan. He played uh, Jimmy Mattia, one of the veterans. Oh, that's right. that's right. Played pretty good. I was really impressed. I think it was Sean Lane. Remember, it was a bigger guy. Gonna, hey, I was going to say, I'm here with my drunk friend, uh, drunk friend, Tommy. Maybe like one of the books? Was he? Yeah, we're doing play-by-play -play over here. Shane Harvey. Oh, Shane Harvey? Shane Harvey that beat Walter first. Ooh. He's putting the one in the front, the nine in the middle. Dude, you, you are really smart. Give you a quick update. Looks like uh, Sh Sean Lane is down, still down one nothing. Uh, Phil Tatum looks like he just got on the board against Johnny King. It's three one, and it looks like Don McCullen is down three to one to Jason Klatt, and looks like uh, looks like he's running out, Jason. Looks like this front table is back up to schedule. They just said 6:45 match. It's 6:45, and as far as I know, most of these matches have been behind by about an hour or two. So that's yeah. good. Oh, I totally agree that's with you. Getting, you know, getting caught up. Looks like they had a few minutes to practice, and that's a first. They've been. They've you definitely have the cooler over here with Phil Tatum now. He'll put you to sleep. Oh, yeah. goodness. <laughs> that is uh, not my style. <laughs> I 
Jason Klatt is up three to one on McClellan. Jason Klatt is winning three to one. Opening break in the Sal game. Let's see. Sal and Ishmael Paez. Looks like he just dry braked. And uh, Ishmael looks like he's got a 1 9 combo if he elects to play it. Somebody was asking about Jason Klatt. He just drilled a 9 to take a 4 1 lead on McClellan. Wow, what a shot by Ishmael. Tell you, man, the veteran. Told you, Ben. 1 0. I looked away for five seconds and missed it. <laughs> it don't it don't take that long with this man. He's pretty do? quick. What did he do? He shot the one nine combo. Oh. Sal dry Sal dry braked and old guy's got a bag of tricks. Yes, he does. Alaska we love it. If you only knew. And that's why I'm glad I get to come out to these events because I get to learn about players like this man. I sat down with Mike Massey for about 30 minutes earlier today just talking about pool hall junkies. It was awesome. Nice. And then ironically enough, Bobby LeBlanc came walking up yep. and joined in the conversation who yep. also was in the movie. So it was yep. Robert LeBlanc pretty, came cool right in. A pretty cool moment for me anyhow. It's nice when you see these guys, you know, these champions and they're playing on, you know. Yeah, there is a room full of All these big movies. Room full of, full of champions. That's right. Let's see what Ishmael, how he does. Him and his little hoppity hop break. <laughs> Ooh. Looks like he pocketed three balls on the break. Doesn't have a really great shot on the one, but Holy cow. let's see what kind of bag of tricks he has up the sleeve. Score update. Sean Lane and Jason Osborne are tied at one apiece. Sean Lane looks like he's down on the eight right now. Might be taking a two on lead on Jason. Look like Ishmael uh, decided to play a little safety. Looks like uh, looks like Sal could see it. See if he puts it back on him. Maybe tries to cut it in the side. I'm cutting that in the side. Now he's jacked up. Let's yeah, see what he happens. Might be playing he might play down it on table. The, down table on the bottom rail. Yeah. Right behind the nine and the did. eight. Oh, maybe he was get even there, a get two there. Way. He might have even been mm. going for it. I don't know. Either way, it's not a horrible shot. Not a, not a great shot, but yeah. not horrible. Good shot selection, just didn't get there enough. You don't see too many shots coming up short. These tables are pretty quick. Yes, they are. I'm, I'm used to playing a lot slower than this up in Tahoe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. With the mud ball. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that kick by Phil Tatum. Almost. Mm. Nice shot. Ooh. Nice shot. Look at that table roll. Yeah, this is perfect position. Great shot. Perfect position. It looks like Ishmael's on a stall game. Yeah, let's jump over to camera three here. So we, we got have. Phil Tatum kicking at the one. Dan McClellan looking at looking at a kick as well in the background against Klatt. Pretty good shot by Phil if it gets down to the in rail. Mm. Looks like McClellan's thinking back there. 
still four to one on that match. Looks like McKellen looks like McClellan's hooked behind the, the nine ball. Looks like he's gonna have to kick at the one. Yeah, and I think the two might be a bit of a problem when it comes to kicking at that ball. Yep. Maybe not. Looks like Sean Lane jumped out to a 2-1 lead now against Jason Osborne. Um, looks like Johnny King and Phil Tatum is still notched up 3-1. to one. And it looks like Jason Clad has actually jumped out to a 4-1 lead. Try by McClellan. So you can watch that match now. Bazinga! <laughs> Bazinga! <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awesome. Oh, yeah. Tell you, man, the veterans looking good, man. I'm Coming glad. out, total different person I'm, in the first match, huh? I'm glad you didn't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> this is what he's capable of doing. Yeah, he plays great. Very smart man. Very intelligent play. Wow. Plays great. Great out by Ishmael. He's up 2 nothing. He said there was no scoreboard. I think it's because of the bandwidth. I think it takes up. And he's trying to... As I know, last night it was kicking people off. It's okay. Yeah, he did. Fire. All right, let's see what Jason does. Looks Good. like he's going to finish this game, notch it up 2-2. Two to two. Looks like Sal Butera just looks like he dry broke. Did he dry break? Nope. He made a ball on the break. Just doesn't have a great shot on oh, the one. Oh, that's a dry break. Did he? Oh, no. He did dry break. Yeah. There's so a lot of Skittles out there. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. Oh, boy. He's got a lot of rainbow out there. That's <laughs> for sure. <laughs> There's that pot of gold down there by the three ball. <laughs> I'd definitely go for that rainbow, that 3-9 oh, yeah. combo. Yeah. <laughs> Little carom shot. It's mm. looking pretty good. Oh, wow. Oh, he's Great shot he's by Sal. Shape, that was a pretty sick yeah, shot right there. Now let's, see what, now let's see what he does. See if he feathers it over or yep. shows off and plays a Him. boatload of top right he and spins it around. Yeah. Oh. oh, he got the love tap. He, he wow. I think he was trying to I think he was trying to get wow. fancy. I'd like to give a shout out to my boy Phil and uh, out in, um, I believe it's Gardnerville. Yeah, it's in Gardnerville. Just want to say hi. I know you're watching. And if anybody else in Tahoe is watching, you know, I'd like to say hi to you too. Oh, well, it looks like it's two to one now in the Ishmael Paez and Sal. Pretty much all the same scores. Yep, nothing's changed. Okay. Make sure we get Paez breaking here. Right. Yeah, he's checking the rack. All right. He said it looks good. Let's do this. Let's do it. I say two balls on the break and a shot on the one. I say I say good call. Here comes his hoppy hop. There it goes. One ball on the break and a shot on the one. Oh, he made the nine ball on the snap. Oh, he did make two. And I didn't make, yep. Good call. Oh, and he had a shot on the one. I wow. can't mess with you. Wow, what a call. Can we get some Powerball numbers? 
<laughs> Maybe I should have bet some money on this match. <laughs> Glad I didn't. <laughs> Wow. I would have never expected to see Ishmael up 3 nothing. I thought it would be a little closer than this. I mean, it's far from being over, though. I can tell you that right it's now. It's 3-1. It's not 3 nothing. Give him oh, a little sorry, credit. Yeah. Even with my glasses on, I'm still a little blind. We got the beautiful Amy Kane coming over here. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Doing pretty good. How about yourself? Do you play again tonight? Yes, I do. I play at 645. I'm actually right after the film match. Against whom? I am playing Jonathan Ballon, I believe. Nice. Good match. Good luck. So are you going to be playing in the women's charity event next week? I am. In addition to kind of running it, which is always fun and on your site and all that other stuff yeah. right <laughs> and I, you know i'm gonna be the first one to admit i'm slacking i'm just so busy i got so much going on but yeah it's gonna it's already turning out to be a great event i think we have like 35 ladies already registered not just from vegas arizona california yeah it's a great event last year we raised two thousand dollars for the shade tree charity and I really feel like we're going to get twice that nice. already. I'm not clapping my hands right now because I got the microphone, but I'm clapping. Thanks. <laughs> it's, it. it's nice to have that, you know, have some charity out yeah. there. And it's nice. It's also nice to see people come from Arizona and all these different places, yeah. you know, to come by. I'm so impressed. The moment you mentioned charity, really, people step up. It's really, really, really amazing. That's, and that's Jason's also nice, you know, in smooth, Vegas to see people that do that. Calm, you know, I mean, that's. Collected. I think it's awesome. Yeah. I think it's a great event. I think it's awesome for all Good the women play. that want to play in it. You know. Control. Yeah, it's fun. Hopefully, it'll be something that we can continue, just like the Dock and the Mercer. That's correct. So if you. If you had to pick one person to win this thing, who would it be? The Mercer? Yes. Well, hello. Who's won it the last... All right. If you had to pick someone other than the champion, who would you pick? Um, do you who's want me to say you right now? Who's, who's going to finish second? <laughs> It'd be nice if you said me, but I don't want you to say me. I don't know. If you had a second guess. If you had to put your money on somebody, who would it be? My money. Did... I'm sorry... Did Ernesto and Oscar end up playing each other? Did they? Okay, that must have been a rumor. Um, I do believe, though, Oscar got beat by Sean. Uh, by Oscar got beat by Trace Kane. Yes, Trace Trace Kane uh, snapped the nine on the break. Hill Hill. Wow. Oh. Well, you know what? I still might put my money on Oscar. All right. Sounds good, Ben. Who do you think? Who do you? Who are you going to take your shot if you hadn't? If someone other than Shane, who would you take? Other than myself. Um, I agree. I'm with you on um, that one. It's it's a toss up for me be, for me between Jason Klatt and Hoven Bustamante. Like I said, I've never I haven't seen the guy play that much, but with as much static as he raised, a yeah. he, there's a lot of talk about him. And like I said, he went he went from 500 to 3,000 in that Calcutta in seconds. It if, was if, it was if, pretty outstanding. If I had to pick one person. Other than Shane, who I hope he wins because I have 25% of the cow cut on him. <laughs> but uh, I would probably have to say Scott Frost. I like the freezer. Scott Scott plays outstanding, and a lot of people underestimate his bar table game because he's, uh, he's known for being a big table one pocket player, and he's known for being his, having his, his own style of being you know, that power one pocket. I, but yep. My God, I've seen that guy do some incredible things on a bar table. Oh, yeah. I've definitely seen some things. I've seen him play a lot, a lot of years. Looks like Ishmael's running out. Uh, if he could cut this ball and get back on the nine, he'll be up 4-1. Woo! Good Perfect. shot. Perfect. Perfect speed. Can't get any better than that, folks. Nope. That's going to put him up 4-1. Uh, looks like Johnny, score update, Johnny's up 4-1. Looks like Jason Clad is on the hill against Don McLennan, 5-2. And it is Jason Osborne. Ah, wow, the Dock Hill champions actually come back. He's up 3-2 now. Thanks for coming on over and saying hi, Amy. Jeff, thank you. You're the roadmap. 
I'm going to have to leave you here, man. I'm going to be playing here in a couple minutes. So. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I'm not even going to wish you good luck. I'm going to wish you great luck. Take Sounds it down. good. I appreciate that, Ben. We'll be watching and sweating it from right here. All right, this is Jeff. I'm going to sign out. I'm going to go uh, have a few uh, swigs of my beer and uh, get ready for my next match. So I hope everyone's watching. It's been fun, bud. Thank you. All right, Ben. Good luck, buddy. What a shot. Nice shot by Johnny Kang. Great speed. It's all good. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Gray. What's up, fellas? 730. Jeff Gray. Yeah. What's up, buddy? Congrats on your uh, win. I like had to go hit some balls, man, and get the nerves out. That was a, That's the worst match I've played in probably <laughs> a year. Uh, I mean, can... miscue, ball in hand, can't get out and f with four balls left on the table. TV table it, was, uh, it was epic. That was a disaster. I had my dad on the stream, my brother, who oh, had never seen me play. Oh, no. And uh, hey, a W is a W. Ernesto sitting in front. So, yeah, so I play Mike Massey next. And, uh, oh, fun. He better be ready for an ass whooping. <laughs> yeah, he beat, uh, I believe, Butch Barba. Butch Barba, yeah. Round one. I didn't one. see what the score was. They were still playing when I left. It, but, was, uh, it was either 6-4 or 6-5. Oh, okay. Well, I know like, that. I know Massey broke the nine in to win. Oh, really? Yes. Jason Osborne is up 3-2 against John Lane. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jason was playing great. He played uh, played a match earlier, and, and it was a very pretty convincing win over a local player. Ryan DeBerg beat him 6-2, uh, I believe. Yeah, this is the first I've seen Jason play, and I'm, I'm impressed. Yeah, his game's come a long way in the last six months. I got Stacy in the background. Yeah. Cheering him on, sweating it. Yeah, he's been pl he's been practicing a lot with Ray Skenendor. They've been playing eight to ten hours a week. Oh wow! Just you know, two weeks, nothing but breaking for eight to ten hours a week. Were they practicing and, this uh, break? No, he was practicing more so for the Dock Hill, which was last week's tournament. Is that a different? Um, is it's that, a different format. Is it? Yeah, it's a, it's a winter break, no magic rack, one on the spot. Oh okay. But. Uh, the payout is very similar. It's a B tournament, but the payout is very similar yeah, to what he, this weekend is. I saw is, he won so. 3 thousand for that, and then yeah, like another the, uh, eight thousand in the Calcutta. Money, yeah, Eighty-seven, eighty-seven. And I heard, in the Calcutta. I heard he also had the fourth place finisher in the no, Calcutta. No, that was me. I had, oh. uh, I finished second. Jason beat me in the finals, and I had uh, all of myself, and I had half of uh, Larry Long who finished fourth. Oh, okay. So I must have, I must have been. It was a good. Form. It was a good day. That's awesome. But yeah, Jason's playing great right now. Ray's uh, Ray's been working with him. Ray's a great player. So yeah, he's he's got. You know, Jason's the kind of player. He was in here about eight o'clock this morning, before the you oh, know before he? anything even got set up, and just break, 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 just trying to get it down. Well, I'm actually staying at his house. Well, him and Stacy. Oh, are you? And I woke up about I want to say nine nine thirty, and he was gone. She was still there, but he was gone, so he must have been yeah, here. Yeah, he came here early to hit balls. He, he did the same thing practicing. last week. I came in. It's paying uh, off. We for started him. at 11. He was in here about 8 or 8:30. I got in about 9, and we were good both hitting balls together. So, but this would be a good uh, this would be a good win for Jason if he can pull this out against Sean. Oh yeah, be a good confidence booster for him. I'm looking at Phil Tatum playing uh, Johnny Kang. Does that mean Phil won his first match? I you know I didn't see your hair, but he must have because I don't. Side. He uh, yeah, he must have pulled out a win against somebody. He was the the last minute scratch entry or something, I believe. Yeah, he had uh, lost a spot a couple weeks ago and then went back on the alternate list and uh, was notified mid yesterday afternoon that he made it as an alternate. He so. played James Harling the first round. Oh, did he? Yeah, I'm not wow. familiar with him, but that's uh, that's a good win for Phil. I couldn't tell you what the score was, but. He did win.
What are we watching? Are we watching Phil's match? We've got or? Phil Tatum and Johnny Kang, and then in the background, we've got Don McClellan and Jason Clapp. Jason is up five to three. Phil's kind of a local favorite. He's uh, this is his home bar. He's in here several nights a week playing with. Uh, he plays league actually with Jimmy Mattia, Al Lawrence, you Joe Canella. I, I heard Jimmy so. played out of here. I think that's pretty cool. Everything, everything okay? Can I get you a wine list, dessert menu? No, but if you can find me a waitress, that'd be cool. Okay. I'll take that wine list and the dessert menu. You need a drink? No. All right. Yeah, you find a way to be good. Blonde, brunette, you care? Uh, whatever. Uh, not good. The brunette with the nice... With a nice magic rack. <laughs> oh, I love it. Phil and Johnny are dissecting this rack. Well, it's kind of hard to screw up a magic rack unless the rack's tweaked or got a kink or something in it. Let's see what Johnny comes with here. Are you playing this weekend? I am. You already played? I played my first After round there? against a gentleman by the name of Brent Boone. Don't know him. I'm not familiar with him either. I'm, he's from Santa Barbara, California. Oh, okay. Nice guy. He, uh, he broke the nine in the very first game in the top corner. And about... 15 minutes later we were shaking hands I got him 6-1 to one. it was pretty fast oh, wow. Yeah. wow good job I think I missed a ball I had kind of lucky but he scratched on an 8 ball he scratched on a 1 ball he scratched on the break and all 3 oh, of them wow. I got out on so it was it was a good little confidence boost warm up match I got my hands full next next match I got to play that Joven Bustamante next oh yeah, yeah that could be a little different that'll <laughs> be exciting hopefully I'll do my best. Yeah, in the back. Just walking that way. Just whenever she comes around. Looks like Johnny's got the breakdown pretty well. He's uh, breaking with a pretty open table, making a ball consistently. Tough to figure out that break with the limited box to break from yeah. and, and with that nine being on the spot. What do you want, man? I'll just get it. Um, I'm going to get a Sprite and I'll buy Amy a Chardonnay. That was a bit of a tricky shot there going the three rails. You had to come in between that 9 5. I'll be thin it, run the cue ball up table, leave the five behind. Ooh, we might have gave him a window. Yep. I think you can see it. That's, uh, I think he's got the edge of it to cut it if he chooses to. In the background, Jason Klatt is on the hill. Don McClellan has got four, one game difference. I think Phil's just going to hit this hard and look towards the sky. Oh, oh wow. I don't know if that, that was a good shot. That actually, was really creative. That's uh, surprising. I wonder if he was trying to hit that five on the way down. Yeah, I think he. <laughs> Regardless, okay, he hit it easy and looked up towards the sky. <laughs> Yeah. 
Nice kick by Jason. Yeah. Oh, you brought my DVDs in, Jerry? Thank you. Jason Osborne takes a 4-3 lead over Shane, excuse me, Sean Lane. That's 4-3 uh, now? That's correct. <laughs> oh, drag it down a little bit further than you want. It should be okay there, though. Get a natural position on the nine. I stepped out for about an hour and a half. Uh, has there been any big upsets yet, or? Uh, no, nothing, nothing too upsetting. Except, no, I wouldn't say anything too upsetting. Right now, Sal's kind of getting worked over by Paez. It's uh, five to three right now. I need to step outside. Right now. It's fucking hot. Oh, he dogged it. He misses the eight oh, ball, my God. It's like the Mick Chad or pool players. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice shot. Yeah. Well, Phil had his out on this, just... Uh, Drifted down a little bit far on the eight ball. He overran the six ball by a little bit, which yeah. gave him Weird angle. kind of a steep angle to get down on the eight. And that's a wrap. Yeah, Johnny King. Johnny, what about Morrow and Sal? What a match. What about Osborne? What? Osborne. Osborne's up 4-3. We're going to go back to the Sal Butera, Moro Paez match. Paez is on the hill. Sal needs the next three. Correction. He needs the next two after pocketing this. Moro's on the hill. Oh, did you take the scoreboard off? What's that? You take the scoreboard off? Yeah, you the is it the bandwidth? Is it bandwidth? Is that why the scoreboard was off? Because of the bandwidth? No, I just took it off. Uh, because you didn't know, no, I don't, know how I don't. to operate it. Thanks. You're welcome. But if you'd like me to teach you, how to operate it. It's just a right plus here. or minus. Let's just fill it in. Yeah. Fill no, in the blanks. Plus or minus one game. Right. So right here, the score is right now. You change the uh, names. Five to four. Oh wow. It's five to four. Right, so that would be Salvatore. No. <laughs> Alright, so then, now it's when I joke, yeah. <laughs> So, when they get one game, you actually just go plus one, and it'll automatically yeah, it update. Yeah, automatic. Press one or the other. Add one. Add one. To it. Yeah, it'll add. How does it do it on the other table? 350 people watching right now. What? How does it do it on the other tables? We don't. Yeah, it's just one. All right, just I mean, main mainstream. Yeah. It's just, it's just too, too much. Labor intensive. But if you want to hide it, then you basically just uh, kind of go to the blank shot and then you have to refresh it here. 
say that. Say that. Uh -huh. Pretty sweet. So it looks like Sal's got a pretty routine out here. I can't tell that eight looks like it's far enough out where it's makeable. That eight looks a little, a little janky. It'd be okay here. Come off the side rail. Oh yeah, no problem. Yeah, 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 I will. I will. And Sal Butera taking it up, making it a hill hill match. We got action. Hell, hell, Moro Paez and Sal Butera. Sal's got the break. And he scratches. He hit it pretty firm and paid the price. And he leaves Paez with no problems at all. I'm gonna look at the board and see how many matches I've got before mine. Alrighty. Where you going? Clock out. Oh, ooh. Friendly bump. Hmm. I think he was trying to play to the left of that. And I think I may have tried to play to the right. Let's see what he comes with here. Okay, it looks like they're running probably about an hour behind. There's another match on this Ooh. before my 7.30 starts. He dogs the five. Butero, five balls to go. No problems. Get that magic rack out of the way. Looks like he's going to take a second. Good as mine, right? Shot, bring a cue ball, follow two rails, come back up for the seven, draw it back, and should be out here. Connect the dots. Salbutera takes out Moral Piaz. All right, coming up on the uh, stream table, we have Stacy Alsup, previous U.S. bar table women's champion, 
versus Shane Van Boning on the mainstream. over to that Sean Lane Jason Osborne match for just a moment. Looks like uh, it's 4-4. Four to four. Yeah, tied back up. You got a good match going there. Even when Shane's not on camera, he's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Sean's going to get to the hill just before Jason. Stacy in the background waiting for an opening so she can Make her way over to the TV table Slip here. Under the, there she comes. The rope there. Don McClellan taking Jason Clatt to the hill. It's Jason's break. What a great match. If I'm not mistaken, I think Clatt went hill hill on his first match too, didn't he? This morning? Yes, he did. I think on that same table. Yeah, he was actually playing on two in the back corner this oh, was morning. He? Okay. Yeah. But that was a hill hill match as well. No, there's been some great, great matches. Folks, we are about to get underway. Looks like the coin is flipped between Stacy and Shane. They're hugging it out. Looks like Stacy wins a flip. Stacy made mention on Facebook a little while ago about having to play Shane next. He got on there and commented. <laughs> oh, did she? Asked her if she wanted a sweat bet. <laughs> she replied, if she got four games on the wire, she'd take it for 20 or 50 or 100, something friendly, but I don't know if anything came of that. And we're off. 
Stacy breaks dry and leaves a shot on the one. Shane's going to step right up and do what he does. Oh, goodness. Just for a second, I'm sorry. I minimized the controls and I don't know where they went. I was trying to find this thing again. The oh, uh, software the camera controls. We're gonna, we're gonna actually, uh, we're gonna start a new, uh, a new program. So make sure to watch this next match coming up: Shane Van Boning versus 